There is no better time than now for business brokers all around the country to engage social media. More people than ever because of the coronavirus pandemic are engaged online. I mean, YouTube videos are up. Um, the, the amount of people who are reading and listening and watching different pieces of content and all popular social media platforms is through the roof. If you are not engaging social media at the highest level, you are losing serious opportunity now and especially in the future. There's a couple key factors you have to understand if you want to win on social media now. Number one, it's not about selling as much as it's about building brand. You know, you will get opportunities to sell, especially if you have a strategy like we do at our company for business brokers on LinkedIn, and we are creating listings, we do digital drop letters, but when you're building a brand, you are, you are offering value-driven content on a regular basis. See, the key is not quality or quantity, the key is both. You wanna have a lot of content, and as you put content out there, you want it to continue to get better and better and better. But don't let paralysis by analysis stop you from starting. You wanna get in the game. You know, honestly, a picture of yourself is, a, is enough to start posting and engaging people and winning on social media. There's five big pieces of content that we encourage all of our business broker clients to, to get and use in their social media presence online. Number one, anyone and everyone that is in the business broker world is in meetings, listing meetings, buyer meetings, seller meetings, meetings with team members. You know, there, there's just things that are happening around you all the time. All you gotta do is document that. You don't have to create anything new. Get your phone, turn it sideways. Hey, this is Jess, you know, the local business broker here and wherever your area, you can mention that. You know, we just had an exciting meeting as a team and just share what happened. Or we just came out of this amazing network meeting, this amazing chamber of commerce meeting, this amazing meeting, I can't tell you, you know, it's confidential with this potential seller you know he's got this great opportunity he's about to trust us which we're privileged just document the journey just report the progress of your business as a business broker that's the first kind of piece of content second is offer value like teach people stuff don't you don't have to sell them anything why don't you become the expert in the industry and in area that you are working in by offering content about how to get the most money for your business how to position your business's financial statements you know to to make it appraise and, and, and evaluate at the best. There's all kinds of things that you know as a business broker that business owners, your buyers and sellers on the other side want to, to learn and they're on social media. So whoever does it the most and is the most consistent and says it the best uh, is gonna get their attention and you're gonna build an audience by, by talking about these things and offering value and becoming an expert and resource in people's mind. Number three is you, it's always a good idea to document any philanthropy, networking, charity events. When you're ever at, ever at an event, great pictures is good. Um, they get shooting a little video with some of the key people, board members, business owners, community leaders. You just, hey, it's Jess and I'm here with Joe Schmo, he owns this business down the road, or hey, it's Jess, I'm here with the, you know, the Chamber of Commerce president, and we just went through this great presentation, you know, about our economy here, and just update people. And you getting those people in your videos will help them share your content, and you, the business broker, will get into the network of those other people. Happens all the time, and then those time, those kinds of videos kind of go locally viral, and they start moving around, and people start getting introduced to you, and all you did was shoot a a very simple piece of content. Another great piece of content is closing day. When you're at your closing days and, and you're with new buyer buyers and uh, business owners and, and sellers and everyone's happy and everything, you did your job really well, it's a great opportunity to snap some pictures and you can brand them with your logos and you can put words on it, sold, etc. And or it's, it's awesome to get some videos those days. You wanna get some videos of the seller 
and the buyers potentially talking about the experience that they had with you and you can ask them you know beforehand would you please do this would you mind doing this and and if they don't want to do it you can just be in front of the business and just shout out the business and you could and it will help their you know the new business the people will be happy even if they're um camp you know camera shy and they don't want to be in front of the camera but you could be in front of their business and you could talk about the deal was done this new business owner took over come check them out and they will appreciate that you could tag them you know that look that business in your post on Facebook and and then they're gonna get notified and then they're gonna share it most likely or you could even give them that piece of content and they could put it natively on their Facebook page there are so many opportunities out here between documenting the journey um, reporting progress you know you know getting content at the closing table you know champion different causes you want to do you know there's so many kinds of piece of content to gather just by doing what you're doing and as you do that and as you offer value and as you engage people online you're gonna start building an audience you know an audience that's gonna trust you an audience that is gonna engage with you and and you know as you do that and build an audience remember you want to be on social media and treat people the same way you want to be treated. So don't go on there and just post all kinds of stuff and don't engage the community. Like engage other people, follow other people, share other people's content, like other people's posts, offer intelligent contributions when people are talking about different things on social media, on LinkedIn. You could you could write blogs and articles. You could you could do little video vlogs. There's so many opportunities for you to grow your presence online so that again you become the expert in people's minds you become the go-to resource you stay on top of mind so that when people are ready to make a move you will be the first person that they think about and that is how you win on social media